as we have seen in fluid dynamics that is Euler's equation of motion that it consists of pressure force as well as gravitational force. Let us derive an equation of motion regarding Euler's equation. Now in Euler's equation we have studied that is it is sum of force due to pressure plus force due to gravity is equals to mass into acceleration in that particular direction. So let us assume a control volume at some angle theta. So let us consider this as a control volume. Control volume having a length as ds having a length as ds now this let us consider this section as section 1 1 this section over here as section 2 2 now during this we are applying two forces over here first force is due to the pressure on the fluid that is the pressure at position 1 1 let us consider this as ps now the pressure at position 2 2 will be equals to P of S plus DS. Now why it is S plus DS? Because we are assuming somewhere over here there is one origin. From the origin the distance till section 1 1 is S. Hence the pressure over here is PS or the pressure at the inlet of that entire fluid. And this is the pressure at the outlet at the entire fluid. So now we have considered what is the pressure force which is acting on the fluid. Now let us consider what is gravitational force. Let us consider what is the gravitational force acting on the fluid. Now let us consider as this as the center line and with the center line at the centroid this will be the weight of the fluid which is actually going downwards. So now this weight of the fluid will be equals to mass into gravitational acceleration. Now, we have written all the possible forces that is force due to pressure and force due to gravity. Now, we know that that is equals to mass into acceleration along that direction. So, let us consider that as acceleration along S direction. So, this can be written as force due to pressure along s direction plus force due to gravity along s direction is equals to mass into acceleration along s direction. Considering all the forces which are going at the top are positive and which are going down are negative. So let us write down this equation for the force due to pressure. Now we have a force due to pressure along S direction that will be given as PS since it is going in this direction it will be positive and PS plus DS which is going in the opposite direction that will be negative. But here we are talking about the force not about the pressure hence how is force related to pressure that is we have to multiply that by its cross sectional area. So that means over here the force acting on this section will be given as PS into DA and the force which is acting on this section will be given as PS in PS in PS plus ds into dA. So this is the force which is acting. So this force will be positive. So that is ps into dA minus ps plus ds into dA. So these are the force which is acting along the pressure direction. So now let us expand this part by Taylor series. Now we know what is Taylor series which is equals to f of x plus h is equals to f of x plus f dash of x upon 1 factorial into h plus f double dash of x into h square by 2 factorial so on and so forth. Similarly, we can write this part also P of S plus DS also as that is P of S plus dou P S by dou S 
into ds upon 1 factorial plus dou square ps by dou s square into ds square by 2 factorial so on and so forth. We'll neglect the higher order term since since the value of ds is almost uh, is very small or it is very small so ds square or d d s raised to n will tend to 0. So all the higher order terms will consider as 0. So if you consider the higher order terms as 0, what do we get over here? That is p s plus d s p s plus d s is equals to that is p s plus do p s by do s into d s. Now, let us write down all the forces along the pressure direction. So, the force along pressure direction PS is equals to PS into DA minus PS plus DS into DA which we have written earlier. Let us substitute the value of PS plus DS. So, that is equals to P S into D A minus of P S plus do P S by do S into D S into D A. Now, note that we are using over here partial derivative because pressure is a function of all x, y and z. So, here we have also considered it is a function of a space coordinate that is s so hence we have to consider a partial derivative let us multiply this inside so this is p s into d a minus p s into d a minus of do p s by do s into d s into d a so this part will go away so the sum of all forces along pressure direction P s is equals to minus dou P s by dou s d s into d a. Note that that is equals to the volume of that entire part that is v d v. Now d s is the length of that entire control volume and d a is the area of cross section. If you multiply both, you will get the volume of that entire control volume. So. We have considered the first term. Now let us write down what is the force, force due to gravity. Now force due to gravity if you will see over here that force due to gravity over here is acting along this direction. It is making an angle of theta with the s axis. So its component along this direction will be given as fg. So the weight acting downwards is equals to m into g and it is making an angle of theta with the with the s axis so over here this component over here will be equals to mg cos of theta which will be along which will be along this axis so this is mg cos of theta and this component will be mg sin of theta. Since we are considering all the forces along this direction that is along s direction, we will consider only one component that is mg cos theta and that is also going downwards hence it is negative. So that is equals to minus of mg cos of theta mass can be written as density into volume so minus rho into v into g into cos of theta now let us write all these equation together in Euler equation so what is actually an Euler equation Euler equation of motion consists of the force due to pressure plus the force due to gravity is equals to mass into acceleration in a particular direction so we have written what is Euler's equation of motion let us substitute the this part so that is minus of dou p s by dou s into dv minus of m g 
into cos of theta is equals to mass into acceleration along x s direction now we are going to substitute three terms over here first term we are going to substitute is the masses second term we are going to substitute cos theta and the third term we are going to substitute is acceleration along s direction so let us see the first term that is the mass mass can be written as density into volume that is equals to dv second term that is cos theta so for understanding cos theta we know that with the vertical this entire ds if this is length ds makes an angle of theta with the vertical let us consider this vertical as dz then cos theta is equals to adjacent upon hypotenuse so that is dz by ds so we have got the value of cos theta the third term which we are going to consider over here is the acceleration now acceleration is a function of that is s as well as t so this can be written as equals to v dou v by dou s plus dou v by dou t so that is function of both space as well as time so we can write this part but in this equation if you consider this as a steady flow steady flow that means the rate of change of velocity is zero so that means dou v by dou t is equals to zero hence this part will be zero we are only constrained with change in velocity along along the space coordinate so let us substitute everything in this equation so what do we get over here is minus of minus of dou p s by dou s into dv minus that is mass over here is a rho into v into g instead of cos theta instead of cos theta you have to substitute the value of dz by ds so this is dz by ds is equals to the last term is equals to mass into acceleration along s direction mass will be substituted as rho into v and this will be substituted that is v do, do v by do s so this will be given as rho into dv into v do v by do s let us consider this volume as this part so this that will differentiate as v dash volume as v dash so that will differentiate velocity and volume so in this entire part the volume remains constant so the change in volume is not equals to zero hence this equation that is minus of minus of dou p s by dou s minus a rho into g dz by dz by b, ds is equals to rho into v dou v by dou s now we can cancel all the denominators because all the denominators are same now what do we get by rearranging the term and dividing by dividing by rho that is minus of dou p s by rho or we'll consider this as positive plus we'll get this as equals to rho uh, is equals to g into dz d into z dz plus the last term will be equals to v into dou v is equals to zero or we can rewrite this as that is change in pressure upon its own density plus change in velocity plus g into dz is equals to zero so this equation is actually called as euler's equation of motion i hope you have understood what is euler's equation of 
motion in terms of pressure uh, acceleration due to gravity and acceleration of the fluid thank you